And raising that money is what my next guest will next guest says will keep OpenAI private because as long as Sam Altman can do it in private markets, don't expect an IPO. Let's bring in Bullpen Capital's Duncan Davidson. Duncan, it's been a while. Welcome. Good. Good to see you again, Kelly. What do you make of all the uh, developments on OpenAI? Is it overvalued, overhyped, or justifiably, um, you know, getting all the, the the funds it's getting to do what it's doing? Well, if, if you end up looking at a discounted cash flow or the future value they've got to create, that's got to have eventually a trillion dollars of revenue. Will they get there? Well, maybe. The point I'm making about them not wanting to go public is Sam's on a mission. He's on a mission to create the first sentient AI, the super intelligence. And Masa from SoftBank made a comment after putting a lot of money in this round that he thought it would happen by 2027. That suggests to me that's what Sam believes and what he's telling people. He's not going to go public if he doesn't have to because it'll distract him from the mission. He wants to stay on that mission. So just to be clear, Duncan, you think $157 billion valuation uh, implies the company should have a trillion dollars of revenue in the near future? Well, I wouldn't say in the near future, but it, you've got to get to numbers like that to justify this. And you might be able to justify numbers like that if he actually does create a super intelligence, Skynet, if you like, depending on your point of view about AI. Okay, that said, the fundamental problem with OpenAI right now is the business model. They, you know, made four billion or a little bit less, so lost five billion this year. Why should we expect those economics to change as they scale? The chips they're using are expensive, and they're ultimately going to have to pay licensing agreements, I would imagine, in order to get up to date content. If you trend out the loss, the amount of money they spend per little search or use of ChatGPT, you're right. They have, to, they have to raise so much money, it's hard to imagine they could. But you have to believe they're going to get efficiencies as they go forward with this mission. They're going to get things cheaper per search, so to speak, or per interaction. They've already come up with some models from their big model, which allowed them to do that. So I believe they'll find a way to lower the big expense there. But not quite yet. First, they got to build out these data centers. The CFO is right. This is like building out railroads. A gigawatt data center is now kind of the core thing of AI. You've got to build a lot of them. And the limiting factor turns out to be energy. And I think you guys have talked about this on CNBC. Right, but those expenses. So in other words, uh, uh, some people have joked that if you want to be an open AI, but you can't access it just by NVIDIA. Are you amongst those who see NVIDIA and these massive data centers as an ongoing beneficiary of this trend? Or are people going to find cheaper substitutes, OpenAI included, that can make its uh, business model look a little bit more attractive? Oh, I still think NVIDIA is in the driver's seat. But you have an IPO coming up today with a smaller company that's got a different way to do these chips. If you want to talk about it, I'm happy to. Because there will be innovation competing with NVIDIA in this marketplace. And we should see the cost of building out these data centers actually begin to decrease as newer models come in. Cerebris is the name, I believe. Are you in that IPO? Were you part of OpenAI's funding round? No, no, I wasn't, nor I was on my part of Cerebris, but I wish I were. It is, its key gimmick is it's building a complete wafer instead of a small chip. See, normally they do a wafer and they cut the little chips off. That's what NVIDIA does. They kept it all in one chip. That version is 10 times faster to operate and much quicker to scale up than the other way of doing it. Uh, so it's an it's a incredible innovation. I hope it works. Is, I wonder if it would be an acquisition target for NVIDIA or if that technology could quickly be copied or to some extent imitated if it is that successful. It may be, it's very hard to do, but it may be other people can try to do it and chase them. Uh, the, the speed with which you get a data center up is one of the competitive advantages here. Elon Musk talked about he got his 100,000 chip system running in four months or some number like that. Kind of interesting. I think um, this, uh, Cerebras has a relationship with some of the people in the Middle East, and you flash that up there on the screen. Both the Emirates and the Kingdom, the Saudis, are trying to become powerhouses in AI, and they're going to do it through this relationship, among others. So you're going to see... Competition between sort of nations as well as companies 
trying to get on this, this AI ban bandwagon. Which I have to imagine is bullish. It means a lot of dollars are going to be flowing in. Um, just quickly, Duncan, before I let you go then, Cerebris is, is an exciting upcoming AI IPO. There's been a dearth on that front. Is this the beginning of what could be a series of investments now that you would expect it and would want to invest in? Well, perhaps. Cerebris is coming out as a small IPO, under billion dollars, at least their initial talk. They might end up higher after they open. I expect it to do really well, but I really love the fact you're not waiting for a hundred billion dollar type of value before you go public or under 57 of chat GPT or OpenAI did. We're back to the small IPO. And I think in the AI category, we may see a lot of new and smaller IPOs rushing into the market. That would be a very positive trend for the public investor because you get in at a much lower value and you can ride it all the way up to the 157 billion value if it gets there. It's a great point that it could both create more successful smaller IPOs and bring them to market earlier uh, so that the public can tap into them. Duncan, we'll leave it there. Thanks for your time today. Thank Duncan you. Davidson Take care. With Bullpen Capital.